back to my channel. So today I am tackling the biggest mess ever, or at least it feels like that. So every about three months or maybe even six months, I can't remember the last time I filmed a video like this, but I go through my whole house and I declutter and just kind of reorganize, just refresh, kind of get everything straightened up. And it's all the places that like nobody ever sees. So the closets, the cabinets, um, all of that stuff. And sometimes I'm excited to do it and sometimes I feel like it's just going to be such a huge task. And today I feel a little bit like that because the toy situation in our house has gotten really out of hand. I've normally been a very like minimalistic toy person or just the things, you know, having a certain space for them and not allowing it to get bigger than that. But... We have gotten to the point where things are just everywhere and I did not clean up anything to film this video. So right now we are like in the phase of maybe like day four or so that I haven't cleaned up toys. I clean up toys in their rooms about every three days or so just because I feel like it gets redundant or just it gets a little bit ridiculous to do it every day and so and they clean up too as well. The girls are really good about doing that but today it's crazy. The whole entire room that we have the toys in is like covered in toys all over the floors and it's just time. It's time. It's time. So I'm going to start back there and then work my way through the house. So what I did is I sat down with a pen and paper and I made a list of like each closet. So like the girl's clothing closet, the toy closet, the linen closet, under the bathroom sink, and like have the list with little boxes to check off. I feel like having a list like that really keeps me on um, track and then I can just continually go back to that and then where's the next area I have planned and then just kind of go through it. Otherwise I get distracted and I start into like some other stuff that I should not be digging into <laughs> and, and then it just all goes out the door and I don't end up finishing. I want you guys to keep in mind, I always say this as a little disclaimer at the beginning of my entire house or whole house declutters is that I've been doing this a long time. When I started doing it, I had trash bags and boxes. I mean, the first few times I did it, I had so much stuff I either took to Goodwill or simply threw away. So I have sat out in the backyard this morning, just kind of had some chill time. I feel like that's so important right before you're about to tackle a really big day. And I was drinking some of my cold brew and I don't know what it was about the cold brew this morning, but it just so hit the spot. And now I feel totally ready to get started. So let's jump in. One of the big reasons I really wanted to get this done right now is all of my girls are about a year apart each and all three of their birthdays are going to be happening in the next little while. So of course with birthdays comes new toys and lots of fun things but it's definitely a time to get rid of old stuff, broken stuff, stuff that is out of their age range, things they don't play with, that sort of thing. And since my girls are so close in age, it really helps because a lot of times as they grow too old for certain toys or just uninterested in those things, they all three don't really want those things. So um, I can kind of get rid of stuff as I go. There isn't a huge age gap, so um, it makes things a lot easier. Something else that I did and have done for a long time is I have them help me out with this. So I know I didn't film this part of it, but I did have them come in and like we had had a 
ton of little like ballerina skirts and dress up skirts because my mom likes to make them little skirts a lot too. They're just easy for her to sew. She can just throw elastic in them and the girls think it's fun that Grammy makes them skirts. But we had so, so many of them, like way too many. And then we also had some that were torn and that kind of thing. So I had them come in and tell me which ones they like the best. And they're very aware that, you know, I'm getting rid of stuff and they don't mind since I've done it since they were little they're kind of in the mindset that we do get rid of things and things break and then we get new things and so since I feel like I've done it for so long they are really compliant and easy to work with with it If you guys remember a little while ago, I changed these rooms around and I actually had this closet as the clothing closet and then the toy closet in the other room. Since the girls are so close in age, they share a lot of clothing. And so I just have them have all of their clothes in one closet. It makes it so much easier, makes laundry easier and everything. But I'm not 100% sure that I like the setup of how the toys are in this closet. I think I might just need different shelving in there, something like that. So I'm probably going to be on the lookout for that. But definitely downsizing the amount of toys we had helped out a lot. If I get new bins and things and storage and whatever, however I would redo this, I definitely would go with the clear style bins like you see there on the top shelf because you can see what's in them. I'm kind of over the label thing when it comes to the toys in particular. I would rather just be able to see what's in the box. And it also makes it a little bit easier for the girls because they can see what's in the box and easily tell me what they want to get out. And another thing I have on this closet is I do have slider locks that are like child locks that go across the top of them. I'll leave them linked below because I get questions about them a lot and people um, want to use them on their closets as well. So we have a system where they generally don't get everything out at once and they just pick out what they want, a few things, a few boxes, and then we clean up those things when they're done and then they can exchange those in.
next I jumped into their clothing closet and I'm also very minimalistic when it comes to their clothes. I don't like excess clothes. So everything you see in this closet is what I have for all three girls. And generally the way that my system kind of works is instead of doing a lot of hand-me-downs because they don't have a huge variety or huge wardrobe, a lot of times till they're done with their clothing, they're really worn out and we're ready to just purchase new. So they do get a lot of new clothes and I am one that would rather have something new and wear it out <laughs> um, than have a bunch of like secondhand stuff and I do thrift here and there but I would say a majority of their stuff I just get it new and then they wear it out and they also really like to match right now so you're gonna see towards the right side of the closet there's a lot of matching outfits and I know they're gonna hit an age where they don't like it but right now they almost like ask for it you know like where's mine I want mine to match hers <laughs> so for now I'm riding the wave on the matching outfit thing and I know it's gonna come all too soon where they want to just have their own individual style. So this is the bathroom that the girls share, although they do take baths in our bathroom because we have a large tub in there. Um, this is kind of the one that's right next to their bedrooms and it's one that like when people come visit, they use this bathroom as well. And so I actually moved that hair stuff that was in there into their closet because I had space for it in there and just went ahead and put towels in here for guests. Then this is my linen closet or my medicine cabinet. A lot of people ask me about that, where my medicine cabinet is, and this closet is right in the hallway and it's super handy for just kind of a catch-all. So I decided to put my beach towels in here. Now that it's summertime, the girls are constantly getting wet and I wanted it to be at a height they can reach. So I just rolled them up and stuck them in here. And then I kind of expanded my area for medicine and supplements and stuff like that, just an overflow. Okay, up here I just kept the sheets and like extra bedding stuff that we have around. And then in here I did extra supplements here. I have some more probably coming that I'll put in here. And down here I have got our beach towels. This is where our hamper is at. And then up in here I kind of divided this up. So this is like stuff for colds and coughs, that kind of thing. This basket is all about tummy stuff and the flu, that kind of thing. And then this one here. I've got like Tylenol and then topical stuff like band-aids and then I also have a few of these in here just kind of getting it into categories I'm looking in your eyes wish you could see the things I see I don't want to wake up if I'm dreaming because you know I can't get enough of this feeling you're giving before we get into our closet and tackling that, I wanted to share with you guys this bag. Also, this portion of the video is sponsored by Teddy Blake. So they sent me this Ava bag. It is either a small tote or a crossbody style bag. You guys know I'm normally a very budget person, but this is a designer bag. And this is one area in life that I've enjoyed splurging a little bit, and that is on my bags or my diaper bags, my totes, whatever. I'm using to go out and about in town I just feel like it's such a statement piece in your wardrobe and it's kind of a fun way to splurge so this bag is really cute I absolutely love the color I decided to go with blue something that's a little bit different than my norm and it's absolutely great quality I know it's a piece that I will use for a super long time so go ahead and check out the description box you guys can check out Teddy Blake as well 
So I haven't went through our closet since the seasons really changed. So I did a light declutter, I think. Oh, I don't know how long ago it was. But I did get rid of some of my winter stuff. Although this day I did have more of it to get rid of. So I went ahead and got rid of like some of the long sleeved stuff that was worn out or stained or just I didn't like how it fit. And I really do need to go and go shopping for some more summer clothes. Again, I'm not super crazy about having a massive wardrobe. I like to keep my things decluttered and just the things that I really enjoy. So I am pretty purposeful whenever I buy my clothes. I like to buy things that I know I'll use through that whole season and then generally I purchase um, another couple things in the next season. So I don't keep a lot of the same things from season to season just because I do exactly like I do with my girls and I tend to wear out the few items that I really enjoy. All right, so put a monkey emoji in the comments <laughs> if you are one of those people that has a mess like this, cords. Oh, cords. They are like my arch enemy. I hate tangled up messes like this, but somehow they still happen and I absolutely dread them like no other. So I was like, okay, I gotta sit down for this. I gotta get in, pull up my sleeves. <laughs> untangle all of this mess and to be honest I think probably 75% of it I threw away because we either had duplicates of the same cord that were literally just for one thing that we have um, or they were just cords that I really didn't know what they were for and my mindset when it comes to the cord thing is if we find something and we accidentally threw away a cord for it we can always repurchase it and I feel like that's why these big cord messes happen is because we don't know what it's for and so we just see save it and save it and save it forever when in reality I would say a majority of things you can repurchase cords for things and not have to have such a mess like this So for any of you that might be wondering, that is my wedding bouquet up there. Um, this August, we will be married seven years. Seven years, isn't that crazy? But that bouquet, it my mom made it, and it is the one that I walked down the aisle with, but it's made out of silk flowers. My mom used to do silk flowers for weddings a lot whenever I was a little girl. They were a really big deal back then, and she was able to make this gorgeous bouquet that in photos people don't really believe me that it's not real but it looks amazing and it still looks really great I dust it off and try to keep up with it in hopes that one day my daughters will each want a part of it or one of them will just take the whole thing
Okay, I got rolling in the kitchen, and obviously you can see that all of this was done over a couple days with my outfit changes. And in the kitchen, I didn't have a whole lot to do. I just had a few cabinets that were trouble spots for me that I needed to straighten up, one of them being here in my oil cabinet. And I do get questions about this stuff, so I'm gonna quickly let you guys know that this stuff is linked in my Amazon shop. I will also try to give you direct links below to the light that's above this little stand and then the acrylic stand. It's actually for nail polish, but it works out perfectly for my oils. And if you can't find it below, you can definitely find it in my Amazon shop under oil favorites. I went through a few of my drawers just taking out a couple things that I don't really need and I know this might seem kind of crazy to go to all the bother for like one or two things to go through the drawers but to be honest those one or two things might be something that you move every single time you're looking for what you actually need and when you think of it that way it definitely is a really big pain to have things that you don't ever use and there was a few things here and there plus it's nice to have everything straightened up and orderly and i think if you do this every once in a while it tends to stay that way and just be purposeful about making sure that everything's kind of where it should be I have um, a couple cabinets that are perfectly fine the way they are, just like this one. Um, I just decided I would go ahead and show you in case you just wanted a little inspiration on how I organize these things in my kitchen. This is my number one trouble spot in my kitchen, <laughs> for sure. And that is all of the containers and the lids. I think we all know the story with this stuff. And I don't know that there's any solution to it other than maybe at some point I should just purchase like a large set of something that can be stacked together correctly. I don't know. Let me know if you found any major solution to doing this. Um, I feel like I just have to stick with it and just organize it every once in a while so that it doesn't get super dumped up and also just get rid of containers as they lose lids or vice versa and just keep it as minimal as possible. This is underneath of my sink. I think that the system is working out well. I keep my dish towels and things like that in here. I just don't really wanna waste a drawer space with those things whenever I can throw them in a bin under the sink. It 
is junk drawer time. We all have to have them, you guys. I have tried to go without them, but a junk drawer is one thing that I think is essential in a home. And when I say junk drawer, it's kind of just a catch-all that tries to stay as organized as possible. So I keep, you know, batteries, staples, um, like my little command strips that I use for everything, pens, uh, pencil sharpeners, change lighters just those kinds of things that don't really have one exact home and i also tried having a smaller drawer than this one um, when we moved into this house this this drawer we used to have inside the door at our old house and it was for the same exact purpose um but when we moved here i tried to use one of the drawers in the kitchen and it was just too small like you really have to have as much space as possible for something like this also the drawer organizers are from target i think you could find something pretty similar at uh probably the dollar tree dollar general something like that but one reason i really like this style container and you probably can still find them at target i didn't get them that long ago is they are flexible and bendy so they tightly fit into the drawer and they don't slide around very easily since they're in so snug This is my laundry room and I recently did go through these bins in a video um, and so I didn't really feel the need to go through them. I just thought I would go ahead and show you how I have things organized right now but I am planning out a makeover on my laundry room and so there's actually going to be two shelves put in here and I'm also going to get different bins I think anyways and just things will be organized a lot differently so definitely be on the lookout for that video. This is our master bathroom sink area, and this side didn't need any attention. I put some towels in there sometimes in that empty spot, but the other side has definitely been a problem spot for me. I tried organizing it, um, and I just feel like it's not working, so I got a, another item that I'm gonna put in here, but for a moment, I had to put on a woodsy outfit. As you can see, I, someone needed some help, so I would did that before I got into doing the sink. So I pulled everything out. So I pulled everything out and just kind of got rid of stuff that I didn't need. I love this little turntable thing. It's actually from the container store, but I think they may have them on Amazon. If I can find the same one on Amazon, I'll definitely link it below. And then I decided to try a little drawer system underneath of here and just see if that works out better. Um, just to do like kind of a catch all for like my hair stuff and just things that don't really have um, another place. I hope this video motivated you guys, inspired you. Definitely leave me a comment below. I love hearing from you guys. Don't forget to give this video a like. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. I'd love it if you joined my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.